I love the water. I, I, I surf or I try to surf. I, uh, I've always worked with uh, different animals like seals uh, and other marine mammals and hadn't had a lot of experience with sirenians or dugongs and I, I just enjoy the interaction with the animals and how similar they are to some animals I've worked with in the past such as elephants are uh, very closely related and just amazing to work with. He gets a little bit naughty on occasions, he likes to play with his dinner plate, takes his uh, feeding trays for for little trips around the exhibit makes it very difficult for us to find. Uh, he's very intelligent and he's a very interactive animal so he's, he's always contemplating and thinking about things. Uh, so on occasions he's, he's a little bit smarter than some of the staff that work with him and he can pick people really well. Rue is just an amazing animal because for us to be able to properly look after her, we've, we've spent many years building up a bond or a rapport with her and, and that connection that we have with her is, is pretty unique. We usually have two staff working from 7.30 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night and all they are doing is preparing food for the animals, cutting up the lettuce, threading it into nice weighted trays and, and feeding them. So Pig and Waroo were both found as abandoned calves many, many years ago. Uh, the idea with Pig was to bring him into captivity, try and raise him and rehabilitate him and release him back into the wild. At that point, no dugong calf had ever been successfully raised, um, let alone reintroduced back into the wild. So we tried that with Pig, unfortunately it didn't work. Eight months after being released back into the wild, he just lost so much body condition, he came back into our care to be looked after. And Waru was also an abandoned calf, and it was just clear from very early on that she wasn't physically fit enough to be released into the wild. And not only are they the, uh, the only pair of dugongs in the world, they're also the the closest to what a normal dugong would be. So some other dugongs on display around the world, around about 150 kilos, which is very small. Waru, our female, she's about 460 kilos, and that's very close to what a dugong would be in the wild. <laughs>